हेलो एवरी वन टूडे विल बी डूइंग द गिटार टोरियल फॉर तू मेरे पास फ्रॉम द मूवी वजीर इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग एंड लाइक इफ यू कैन गेट इट ऑन द कूस्टिक गिटार इट्स अ वंडरफुल पीस टू प्ले इट्स स्लो सॉन्ग स्ट्रॉमिंग पार्टन इज अ बेट डिफिकल्ट एंड कॉर्ड्स ऑल्सो डिपेंड इफ यू कैन गेट द ट्रांजेक्शन राइट इट वर्क वंडर्स सो है गोज होप यू लाइक इट first up the strumming pattern of the major song it's a bit difficult like it's a long pattern it goes like this down down up down up down up down up up down down up down up down up down up up so while playing it should sound like this up down up down up down up up down down up down up down up down up up if you can get this right and the transitions with it this is the kind of strumming pattern i've chosen for the song but because it plays according to it so starting with the song the verse starts with just single strums of the chords goes like this ma आधा मुझ में बाकी आधा है तू दिल में कौ है धड़कन यारा है तू द कॉर्ड वे यूजिंग है इन द वर्स बी मेजर शार्प माइनर एफ शार्प एंड ई मेजर सो इट्स बेसिकली बी मेजर जी शार्प माइनर एफ शार्प एंड ई मेजर दैट टू स्टैंड सो द कॉर्ड पार्टन विल बी रिपीटेड ट्वाइस द फुल वर्स विल गो लाइक दिस देन वी कम ऑन टू द स्टार्ट ऑफ द कोरस वे द कॉर्ड शिफ्ट बिट द पार्टन चेंजेस अ बिट फॉर दिस वन स्टैंड It'll be. Bin sune sun lunga me bin kahe tu kahe na. Here the chord pattern is just B major. Then we shift on to an F sharp. Go to an E major. Then back to an F sharp. This is an easy pattern here. and uh, it continues on in the chorus like the pattern will remain the same <coughs> so it goes on to bin sune sun lunga ve hamen kahe tu kehna Here the chorus starts and the strumming also starts. So basically, it depends on you how you want to play it. There are two stanzas here, uh, the two mere mere pas part, and according to how you want to play it, the first stanza can be played in single strums and the second stanza can start in the strumming. So it will sound like this. <laughs> as you want to play it you can play it the strumming pattern remains the same down down up down up down up down up up so the whole chord will play like this <coughs> sorry the whole chord will go on this strumming pattern i hope you are with me till now getting this getting 
all of this right would just mean practice you have to start slow go on a slow tempo and then keep going with the strumming pattern and transitioning the chords at the exact time because for me while i play last up while the strumming it goes like it doesn't sound it just goes like a stroke on the guitar without the sound like all the chords have been muted at that time so that can be used for the transition time here the last up was uh, kind of audible how i play it it's like this the last up has been muted so that the transition can be made easy that only helps you so if you want to play it like that you can play it like this and if you want to use another chord strumming pattern of your own you can there are limitless variations to it so moving on uh, after the chorus there's a bridge and the bridge has just two chords it's e major and c sharp minor so it's only this each e major and then c sharp minor it's just single single strums so you can just start slowing down to the mere paas hai na it'll go like this mere mere paas hai na and then the verse starts it goes like this pyar hai sa khel ya pattern for the verse is completely different it goes it has five chords instead of four so basically we'll be playing two chords in the place of one half half goes like this pyar hai the chords are b major then we go on to g sharp then an e major f sharp then back to b major so basically the two chords we're playing in one that is e and f sharp so it should sound like this pyar hai aisa khel yaara tanha transition is so it's basically down down up on e and then down up down up down up up on f sharp if you can get the transition right it will sound wonderful play easily relax go slow and start by transitioning here only because if you can get this transition easily it will be flawless for you <coughs> so it will be tanha ko major G sharp E major F sharp B major so the 
that true stands us to the worst the complete thing will sound like this gotten the lyrics a bit wrong so please don't hold that against me uh, the verse will sound like this two stanzas and then we move on back to the chorus bin sune sun lunga my part and the chords revert back to the same which were d major <coughs> f sharp e major and f sharp and then the chorus starts again with these song, with these chords these similar chords and uh, after that there is another verse here there are basically two verses so after the first verse and the first chorus are done there comes a bridging uh, instrumental between it's a bit longer than the last one the last one just had two chords with single strokes e major and c sharp minor this instrumental is a bit long like the bridges can be played as you want to play them they're just to bridge the gaps between the verses and the choruses so If you want to lengthen it, you can lengthen it yourself. If you want to shorten it, you can shorten it yourself. It depends on how you want to play it. The endless possibilities. Uh, the chords in this instrumental are this uh, bridging instrumental. It would be E major, uh, G sharp minor, then C sharp minor, and then F sharp. The strumming pattern remains the same, so you just continue from two. Mere mere pass after the chorus ends. It'll be like this. <coughs> next verse which is barish kitni dil se guzri sari aankhen abhi kabhi tu agar pal dur jaye bal sa mero tu abhi hey the chord pattern Varies a little. It depends on you. You can use either of the two chords here. Uh, it was B major. We went to a G sharp. These two remain the same. It starts in the same way. But after that, you can either go to a C sharp minor first, then an F sharp. These two have to be played in one. So it will be like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. You can either use C sharp minor F sharp combo here. just here nowhere else in all the verses everywhere the chord pattern will remain the same e major and f sharp but just here because the sound the song sounds like this you can use c sharp minor and then an f sharp and then go back to a b major otherwise the pattern remains the same for the verses the verse pattern is constant in every verse just here in the first stanza of the second verse you can use the e major also it's not a big deal but just so as the song sounds i thought c sharp minor would be a better chord there so it'll be like this barish hai kitni dil se guzri meri aankhen abhi kabhi then the second stanza tu agar pal bhar दूर जाए जी शाम बाद बादलों सा मैं रो दू अभी ई मेज एफ शाप एंड देन अभी रिकॉर्ड पैटर्न रिमेन्स द सेम देन अगेन वी गोट टू द कोरस एट द कॉर्ड पैटर्न वॉज बी बी मेज एफ शाप ई मेज एंड एफ शाप 
the chorus pattern will remain constant in the whole song it's just the verses basically it also remains same it's just depends on you if you want to play it like that or not otherwise the verse pattern will also remain the same and uh, the bridges the bridges are a bit uh, dicey because when you listen to the song the bridge sounds like something has been incomplete there it's just an incomplete gap left there otherwise it depends on you solely because you're playing a, on an acoustic guitar you can either lengthen or shorten that gap in the first cab i don't think there can be any shortening it's too short itself so if you want to lengthen it or if you want to end in uh, add in any silences in between you can use that uh, otherwise that's it i think that should be helpful to you uh, basically the chords are a bit difficult and i think the strumming pattern is also a bit difficult uh, but if you can get it it's a very beautiful song to play on acoustic guitar and it's very good for easy listening also so i just hope you like this video and you didn't find it too confusing because believe me it was too confusing for me also to learn so like share and subscribe if you like my videos and if you have any requests for any uh, other songs which you would like a tutorial for you can please post that in comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so i just hope you like it and it helps you and it was actually not confusing for you so thanks Thank you.